Doctor Care, 200 stores nationwide, and a calculator. And when you give him Brush Plus, you give him more than a shaving concentrate and brush in one. You give him a shave that's superior Gillette Brush Plus and a crystal pitcher. And Eskimo Pie, rich, creamy ice cream bars covered with special thick dark chocolate. Eskimo Pie, a family favorite over 65 years. And a member of our studio audience will receive Olympia's Carrera Electronic Typewriter. Combines the versatility of a portable typewriter with the speed and comfort of an office model from Olympia, USA. This is Bob Hilton speaking for Card Charts, a Mark Goodson television production. It's the Newlywed Game! And here are today's newlyweds. Couple number one married 13 months, Gretchen and Jason Kittle. Couple number two married two months, Monica and Roy Shinsato. Couple number three married 23 months, Raquel and Dave Arboleta. And couple number four married seven months, Sandy and Harold Case. And now, here's the star of the Newlywed Game, Welcome to the Newlywed Game. We're glad you could join us today. And we're also glad that our four couples. You guys ready to play this game? Yeah. yeah. Well, we're going to start the show off by asking the husband some questions. In order to do that, we don't want you to hear the questions, ladies. Not yet. We want you to go off to our soundproof room. Would you please do that? All right, while the ladies are leaving, I'd like to remind our husbands that I'll be asking you some five-point questions. You'll be answering these questions as you predict your wife will answer the same question when she returns. If her answer matches your prediction, you then get five points. One couple with the most points at the end of the show wins a fabulous second honeymoon, and it's a good one, too. So if you are ready, gentlemen, nice to have you with us. The ladies are gone. Here's your first question. Gentlemen, will your wife say that after your very first whoopee session together, she wished that you had read more how-to books or... She had read more how-to books. Harold, after that first whoopee session. Well, I think uh, the, that I would have to have the more how-to books. Oh, she wished that you had read more how-to yes. books. Yes. You were a little... Uh... Well, a little slow at times. I'm saying... I got there. Oh, good. Well, <laughs> not one of my questions, but I'm happy for you anyway. <laughs> Dave. Well, I would say um, read how more how-to books. Now, does she wish that you had read more how-to or yes. she had read more how-to? Myself, me. You. Read, you had read more how-to books. Yes. Um, she's always telling me to try different things, so... Oh, really? <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> yeah. Roy. Well, after the first time, it would definitely be her because... Uh, she wished that she had read more how-to yes, books? Yes, because I had... You Experience. Know, she's, she's no, she's beautiful, and I had plenty of energy. Oh, yes. <laughs> of course. Okay. Uh, Jason. Uh, probably she did. Th that she had read yeah. more how-to books? She was really apprehensive. Oh, okay. So. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not as sorry as you are, but I'm but, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Next question, gentlemen. What will your wife say is the one thing of hers that you think should take up permanent residence at the local dump? Be specific. Something of hers, Dave, you think should take up residence at the local dump? Hmm. I would say, um, her hosiery. Her hose? Her ho ho hosiery. Hosiery, yeah. yeah. That's what I said. She has ho holes in... She's got, hole, she got holes in her hose. <laughs> Roy. I would say her ab roller then. Cause, her what? Uh, her ab her roller. Her ab roller. Yeah, because it, it, it isn't used for abs. It's used for hanging clothes. Hanging clothes on it, yeah. And I, I seem to always kick it at night. We all do that, man. I'm telling you. Jason. Yeah. Probably her little ballerina figurines that... Her ballerina figurines. Yeah. Yeah, psh, gone. <laughs> Harold. Her purple shorts. Her baggy on her. They just... Her purple shorts. Yes. You don't like them, do you? Not very well. No. Oh, okay. Next question, gentlemen. How will your wife say you would complete this sentence? This is you talking. May our love for each other grow and grow, but my wife's blank can stop growing right now. <laughs> Roy, what of hers can stop growing right now? Uh, I would say her ears. Her ears. Yeah. <laughs> she. Uh, <laughs> well, she she has this thing about her ears. She thinks they're big, oh, and I see. Uh, she would like them to stop growing. Uh, Okay. They're fine with me, but it's, it's, she's going to say her Jason. ears. Jason. Um, her nagging. Okay, her nagging can stop growing yes. right now. All right. Harold? Her loudness. Her she loudness? She gets irritated, and she is so loud. Well, I no, can hardly... No kidding. You're right. So she wears those purple shorts and yells at yeah, you, Yeah, right? you got it. 
Not a pretty sight. Not a pretty sight. <laughs> no, but that's all right. Dave. I see her thighs. Her thighs can stop growing she's right now. She's always worried about her thighs, and I'm looking oh, in the right. mirror and... Gentlemen, thank you. We'll be right back to reunite our newlyweds. We'll see how well our husbands have predicted what their wives will say right after these messages. Attention, do you have Medicare? Did you know that you may qualify to get up to $144 added back to your Social Security check every month? Plus additional benefits like up to $2,500 for dental coverage and up to $83 every month to spend at your pharmacy included in your new Medicare plan at no additional cost to you. It's easy to see if you're eligible. Just call the Go Health Medicare Help Center at 800-469-9196. My sister saw a Go Health commercial on TV and told me to find out if I qualify for the $144 back on my Social Security check every month. I was amazed to see that I did. I didn't have dental coverage. Now I have $2,500 to spend on my dentist, and it doesn't cost me anything extra. I was so surprised. My husband also called and got $83 on a debit card to spend at the pharmacy with his new plan. Call now at 800-469-9196 to see if you qualify for these benefits, including up to $144 added back to your Social Security check every month. Many Medicare plans also include up to $2,500 for dental coverage and up to $83 every month to spend at your pharmacy, included in your new Medicare plan at no additional cost to you. Go Health got me $144 added back to my Social Security check every month, which is just amazing. Now, I don't have to worry. I thought, is this really true? That's almost $1,000 a year that I can now use to help with bills and other expenses. That pharmacy card is great. I'm not used to someone helping me like this. I've checked with other companies, and nobody could help me. Call the Go Health Medicare Help Center now at 800-469-9196. Both a call and the consultation are 100% free with absolutely no obligation to enroll. Call 800-469-9196. That's 800-469-9196. Go Health. We get you more benefits. Get a free mesothelioma book from mesobook.com. People who have been diagnosed with mesothelioma have many questions. That's why we offer this free book. Call toll-free at 1-800-300-9252. When Publishers Clearinghouse asks you to join their team... Welcome back to the Newlywed Game. Gentlemen, we recorded your predictions on cards and now have them flat on your laps. Each time that your prediction matches your wife's answer, you get five points. One couple with the most points at the end of the show wins a really neat second honeymoon. You're going to love the second honeymoon we have for you today. So, ladies, you have returned. Here's your question. Tell me, after your very first whoopee session together, did you wish that you had read more how-to books or your husband had read more how-to books? Gretchen, this is after the first whoopee session. I would say me. That you had read more how-to yeah, books. Yeah, he didn't know either, but I think he faked it better than I did. Oh, I, <laughs> I think that was probably what it was. He didn't know much, huh? Eh, yeah. no, no, I don't think so. Does he know any more now? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, he's All good right. now. <laughs> All right, he predicted you would say that, uh, that she had read more how-to books. You're right, okay. <laughs> Monica. Uh, he was pretty good, so I would say I wish I had read more You had, all right. Books. He predicted you would say that... Uh, yeah, she had read. Yes, you got it. Yay! Okay, good for you. <laughs> Raquel. I'd say he needs to read the book because I'm always trying to look for something new. Oh, uh, <laughs> is he boring? No, he's not. I'm just, maybe I'm just, need something new. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you wish he would read those how-to books. Yeah. All right. Uh, he predicted you would say that uh, it would be, yes, that's correct, that he had read more how-to <laughs> books. <laughs> Sandy. Gee, I don't know. Uh, I guess me. Yeah, that you had read more yeah. how-to books. All right. Yes. He predicted you would say that uh, you wish that he had read more how-to books. Oh, uh, you know better than that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you should well, never... We were both pretty experienced. So... Yeah, but not as much. <laughs> if he's so experienced, why does he have to read all those books? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Because I have to. <laughs> Next question, ladies. What's the one thing of yours that your husband thinks should take up permanent residence at the local dump? Something of yours, Monica, that Roy thinks should take up permanent residence at the local dump. Uh, my car. Your car. He predicted you would say it would be, uh, uh, it's roller. your ab roller. Oh! You don't use it and it just sits for a clothes rack. It does have a little bit of laundry on it right Raquel? now. I would say I, have, I collect a lot of papers and it's always there 
your papers. All right. Just he like predicted the one thing of yours that he thinks it would be your hosiery with holes. Oh. Yeah. Remember, you always. You but I don't have too many, so. No. But you have enough. <laughs> well, I can get Sandy. Rid of those too. The only thing I can think of is my stove. He's always making fun of my stove. Your stove. All right. He predicted you would say the one thing of yours is your baggy purple shorts. Oh. <laughs> yeah. right. What I was it you told said, you Harold? About that over and, over and over, and I don't like them. There's nothing wrong with my shorts. Well, they're he said you tight. they're baggy. <laughs> no, that's not what you said. She sags in them. Yeah, she, well, I didn't say that. Yes, you did. <laughs> I did. Yeah. You did? No, I did not. You did too. I don't say that about you. You think I sag? Huh? No, I don't. <laughs> Gretchen. I would have to say uh, my collection of Hard Rock Cafe shirts. I collect T-shirts. You collect T-shirts? Yeah, like from Planet Hollywood and Hard Rock Cafe, because I'm like right. from a small town in Tennessee, so where, I don't get out much. What town from Tennessee? Uh, Decatur, Tennessee. Oh, okay. So I didn't get on that. <laughs> he predicted you would say it's your ballerina figurines. Oh, yeah. I, ha I have them, like, I have some of them out yeah. in the bedroom, and then the rest of them are in boxes, and he always has to move to get around them. So, I yeah, understand. that's probably right. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Last of our questions here, ladies. How did your husband complete this sentence? This is him talking. May our love for each other grow and grow, but my wife's blank can stop growing right now. Raquel, your blank could stop growing right now. It would be my thighs. That's Your thighs? All yeah. right, he predicted you would say, but your thighs can stop growing right now. <laughs> Sandy. Probably my butt. Your butt can stop growing. He predicted you would say your, uh, your loudness could stop. Yeah. Huh. That's not part of me. That's <laughs> part of you. That's all of you. But it doesn't grow. <laughs> well, that's all of her when she gets mad. <laughs> You're a brave man, Harold. You know that. <laughs> Gretchen, your blank could stop growing right now. My tummy. Because I've gained a few pounds since we got married. Really? Have you really? Yeah. Is it his good cooking? No, it's mine. You're good cooking. Yeah. Right. He said that your uh, nagging can stop growing right now. Yeah. Oops. Monica. I would have to be my butt. Your butt. I'm always working on keeping that butt down. Okay. He <laughs> predicted you would say it is your ears. ears. Your ears. Oh. Ears. You're always talking about your ears being too big. Could I see your ears? I cannot believe you said that. You don't even want to show above your ears, I bet. Could I yeah. see your ears? Show oh, above Bob, yours. It's only this one ear, and it's just. <laughs> See? It's, she knows it's only she... one that's growing? I was right. I was right. <laughs> we'll be right back to see how well the wives can predict what their husbands will say right after these messages. <laughs> real customers to tell us what they love most about Consumer Cellular. What I love, the pricing was fantastic. They care about the customer. It gives us exactly what we want. The prices, the coverage. Reliability, customer service, it's all there. Consumer Cellular provides the exact same premium coverage as the nation's leading carriers for half the cost. Consumer Cellular offers really great coverage. It's the same. It was the same, if not better. The coverage has been excellent. You wasting your money you should go with consumer cellular with consumer cellular you can get talk text and data starting at twenty dollars a month what i get out of consumer cellular is a very low bill it practically cut our phone bill in half compared to the last carrier we had we are saving hundreds of dollars each month and with our flexible plans, it's easy to make changes anytime with no penalties. Consumer Cellular understands that life changes. Their plans are flexible. So you can change it anytime you want. So switch to Consumer Cellular and start <laughs> saving today. Call or go online now. Switching was so quick. We kept our phones and we kept our same number. Our customer service team is 100% based in the U.S. They treat their customers the way they want to be treated. And we've received the J.D. Power Award for high customer service again. Customer service is great. They listen to you. They are always concerned about my needs. We offer all the latest 5G phones, or you can keep your current phone. I upgraded to an iPhone. They have every single cool phone. And AARP members get exclusive discounts. It's like four scoops of ice cream for the price of one. It was so easy. I wished I had changed sooner. So switch to Consumer Cellular today and get a 100% risk-free guarantee. Call 1-800-393-1740. Go to ConsumerCellular.com or visit a Target store today. 
Trust me, you'll be satisfied. Today, women with nighttime urinary incontinence don't have to wake up wet. Introducing the PureWick system, an innovative breakthrough system for managing female urinary incontinence at night. Morning, Mom. Good morning. How did you sleep? Better, thank you. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh, the PureWick system works outside the body to draw urine away, helping to keep skin dry and control odor. The PureWick system is a non-invasive option for management of moderate to severe urinary incontinence, helping to reduce the need for multiple changes at night or trips to the bathroom. Now, staying dry can be one less thing to lose sleep over. Order online at purewickathome.com and save up to 10% on your first starter set or call 800-804-9862 for more information. That's purewickathome.com. Welcome back to the Newlywed Game. Ladies, we're alone. Your husbands have been secluded off stage, and it's your turn to predict what they will say. Remember, these are the 10-point questions, and here is our first 10-pointer. Ladies, the last time you and your husband had a track meet in bed, Will he say he took a shortcut, sprinted to the finish line, or jumped the gun? <laughs> Raquel, the last time you had a track meet in bed, did he take a shortcut, sprint to the finish line, or jump the gun? I'll say he had a shortcut. He took a shortcut. He, Sorry. He, he always gets to the point. Yeah, I understand. He waste any yeah. time. Okay, Monica? He jumped the he, gun. He jumped the gun. <laughs> yeah, that was a, it was a while back, so, you know. We're... So the last time you and your husband had a track meet was a while back? About a week ago, I would say. Oh, okay. And, uh, That's a it long was, time, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gretchen? I'd say he sprinted right to the finish line. He did? Yes. Well, good for you. Yeah, he just, he just kept right at it. <laughs> kept trying. He, good job. He what? Kept right at it. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. You can always depend on him for that. No. I can. <laughs> yeah, you can. I don't want to depend on him for anything, okay? <laughs> I can. Thank you. That's your department. Sandy? Harold tends to take shortcuts. He took a shortcut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get him another book to read. Okay. <laughs> Next question, ladies. Which of your husband's friends will he say deserves the title King of the Cheesy Pickup Lines? Give me a first name only, please. Monica? I would have to say Michael. Michael. He's one of those suave kind of guys. Oh, you know? a suaver, a deboner. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay. Gotcha. Uh, I would have to say... Alex. Alex. Yeah, he's kind of um, shy, but he tries, you know, to like be the ladies' man. King of the cheesy be, pickup line. Yeah, be smooth and everything. Yeah. He's not real good at it, but no, he tries. Sandy, <laughs> have to be Jimbo. Jimbo's a one-line guy. Jimbo's a one-line guy. <laughs> yeah, he just is always out there with him. <laughs> okay, Raquel. I'll say Arnold. He's uh, Arnold. Small in stature, but he's he he can really uh, talk his way. He can talk. Okay, fine. Here's the last of our ten point questions, ladies. How will your husband say you would complete this sentence? This is you talking. On national television, my husband would swear that he had never be caught dead wearing my blank, but I did catch him wearing it on at least one occasion. Gretchen. Oh, he's gonna kill me. Um, my undies. <laughs> he uh, wore your undies. Yeah, we were having um, we were having a a little bit of you know, fun, or playing, kind of. And I just dared him, and I just kept on and kept on, because I'm good at nagging before. Yeah. I just kept on and kept on, and he, he finally did. And These he put on those... my little panties and, and my bra, and it was... He put the bra on, too? <laughs> He's gonna kill me! <laughs> now, do we want to take undies or bra? Which is your answer? I'm gonna go with undies. Your undies, okay. Yeah. But I don't you think he'll admit to the bra. You just tossed in the bra, yeah. Yeah, just for embarrassment. You don't have any garter belts, do you? One. Do, don't, I didn't have it on, though. No, I was gonna say, don't let him see it. Okay. No, okay. <laughs> Sandy. My robe. Your robe. Yeah, he put my robe on one time when we were at our hotel. Oh, that's nice. Okay, Raquel? I'll say my cheerleading outfit. He did wear it for me one time. It was, uh, we just got he, together. He put on your cheerleading outfit? It was for Halloween, though. He, he went out in public for Halloween. Oh, okay. He did wear it. Sure, it we won't tell the guys, though. Monica. Uh, well, my husband's pretty macho, so I can't really get him into anything. Uh, I would have to make up uh, something and say my G-string. He wore your G-string. <laughs> hey, if you're going to make something up, he that's a good one to go with. Okay. 25-point <laughs> bonus question. Ladies, what national holiday will your husband say is closest to your birthday? Sandy? Uh... 
President's Day. President's Day. Raquel? Uh, Christmas. Christmas. Monica? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Gretchen? Definitely Christmas. Christmas. Ladies, thank you very much. We'll be back with the husbands to compare answers on the Newlywed Game right after these messages. The deals are heating up. Five bucks. Getting great deals for pennies on the dollar. Ten dollars. Makes good sense. Tonight at 7.30, only on Buzzer. Hi, my name is Sam Davis, and I'm going to tell you about exciting Medicare Advantage plans that can provide broad coverage and still may save you money on monthly premiums and prescription drugs. These are affordable all-in-one plans that cover Medicare Parts A, B, and D. They help pay for hospital stays and emergency care, doctor visits, and they also include prescription drug coverage. In fact, in 2020, Humana Medicare Advantage prescription drug plan members saved an estimated $8,400 on average on their prescription costs. On average on their prescription costs. Could you save on prescriptions? Find out by calling and speaking with a licensed Humana sales agent today. With Original Medicare, you're covered for hospital stays and doctor office visits. But you have to meet a deductible for each, and then you're still responsible for 20% of the cost. Next, let's look at a Medicare supplement plan. As you can see, they cover the same things as Original Medicare, and they also cover your Medicare deductibles and coinsurance. But they often have higher monthly premiums and no prescription drug coverage. If you want Part D drug coverage with a Medicare supplement plan or Original Medicare, it likely means an extra premium. Now, let's take a look at Humana's Medicare Advantage plans. With a Humana Medicare Advantage plan, hospital stays, doctor office visits, and your Original Medicare deductibles are covered. And of course, most Humana Medicare Advantage plans include prescription drug coverage. And you may be able to save on dental, vision, and hearing expenses because coverage is included with most Humana Medicare Advantage plans. Ready to learn more? Call the number on your screen for this free, fact-filled decision guide which takes the mystery out of a confusing topic. There's no obligation, just good information. Are you clear about all your Medicare options today? If you want the facts about Medicare, call right now for the free decision guide from Humana. With most Humana plans, you get prescription drug coverage. You're covered when you go to the doctor, a specialist, or the hospital. You get coverage for emergencies, even when you're traveling. You're covered for many preventive services, like annual mammograms and prostate exams. Most plans include dental, vision, and hearing coverage. And you get telehealth coverage with a $0 copay. Humana has a large network of doctors and hospitals. And remember, Advantage plans include the Silver Sneakers Fitness Program at no additional cost. You get all this coverage for as low as a $0 monthly plan premium in many areas. There is no obligation, so call the number on your screen to get our free decision guide. Licensed Humana sales agents are standing by, so call now. Humana, a more human way to health care. everybody hey we're doing fine everybody's got some points except for couple number four but they're gonna have a chance right now to get some gentlemen let's see how well your wives have predicted what you will say and remember these questions will now be worth 10 points first one gentlemen the last time you and your wife had a track meet in bed did you jump the gun take a shortcut or sprint to the finish line Roy uh, last time I probably sprinted to the finish line. You sprinted right to the finish line. She said for sure last time you, top card only please, you jumped the gun. Roy? Well, jumped the gun. You know what, I thought it was, I, when I was saying the last one, I was meaning sprint to the finish line, but I was saying the gun one, but. <laughs> oh well. Right. Dave? Say jump the gun. You jumped the gun. She said the last time you took a shortcut. You just want to get to the point, and that's it. Yeah. Boy, he <laughs> does need to read those books, doesn't he? <laughs> we both have to. Yeah. Harold. Went to the finish line. Oh, boy, Harold. She said you took a shortcut. Oh. <laughs> uh, why you do did? you do it? I did not. Yes, you did. Oh. Yeah. I don't know why Jason. you say things like that. Uh, I had to say jump the gun. You jumped the gun. She said the last time, no, you sprinted right to the old finish line, Jason. 
Yeah. Definitely. Next Man. question, gentlemen. Which of your friends, gentlemen, which of your friends deserves the title King of the Cheesy Pickup Lines? Give me a first name only, please. Dave? I would say Arnold. Arnold. Your wife predicted you would say it's Arnold. King of the Cheesy Pickup Lines. Yeah. Harold. I'd say Jimbo. Jimbo. Yes, he said Jimbo. Yeah. You got points, Harold. You got yeah, points. Amazing. Told you, that? we're on our way. You are on. Boy, right to the old finish line. Yeah. Jason. Um, I'd say Don. Don. Your wife predicted you. No, it's Alex. Don's married. Uh, Why would yeah, he need pickup but... lines? He's married. Alex is shy, and he, you know, he tries to be cool, but it really doesn't. I mean, it kind of works, but he's kind of shy. Yeah. Don's All married. Right. Uh, Roy. It's got to be our confirmed bachelor friend, Michael. Michael. She said it has to be Michael. Yeah. Okay. Next question, gentlemen. How did your wife complete this sentence? This is her talking now. <laughs> On national television, my husband would swear that he'd never be caught dead wearing my blank. But I did catch him wearing it at least on one occasion. Harold? Her what? pajamas. Her pajamas? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, I made a mistake and I thought they were mine. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, she said, no, it's her robe. Her robe. Close. <laughs> no. All right, Jason. Um, her underwear. I beg your pardon, sir? Her underwear. Her underwear? Yes. Somehow, she did talk me into it once. Really? Because <laughs> she had on some of mine, and yeah. somehow she talked me into putting on some of hers. Really? Have you worn anything else of hers? No, that would be about it. Okay. <laughs> and swore I'd never do it again. I see. All right. She said it would be uh, undies. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jason? <laughs> you've never had a bra on? Huh? <laughs> I said, you've never no. had her bra on, Jason? No. Oh, don't lie. Don't Did I? you lie. Jason, she said you went on the undies and the bra, Jason. The same oh, time. Have. Yeah, you I have. have. Yeah. yeah, you did. Jason, what do you do, yeah. Jason, what do, you do for a living, sir? I'm in the military. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Wait till the guys at the old base hear about this one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Roy. Well, I, I just have to say, like, one of her baseball hats. A baseball hat, all right. She said that you put on her G-string. What? No, I said yeah. no. I said there was nothing I could get you to put on, so I just made something up. Oh. <laughs> you well, would look cute in my G-string, though. That's a fantasy of yours, or? <laughs> hey. I say her cheerleading outfit. You're kidding me. I just Halloween and. Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. She predicted you would say it was her cheerleading outfit. You got it. Okay. All right, before we get to our 25-point bonus question, let's see where our winning couple will be going on their second honeymoon. You're going to the island of Maui. That's right, you'll stay at the Maui Islander in the heart of old Lahaina. Nestled inside 10 acres amidst a lush, green, tropical setting. Within walking distance to shops, restaurants, nightlife, and the harbor, the romantic Maui Islander. Away from it all, close to everything. There you are, Bob. Thank you, Kramer. I told you it's going to be a nice, nice second honeymoon. Let's see who's going to win it. 25-point bonus question. Gentlemen, what national holiday is closest to your wife's birthday? Let's go to couple number four, Harold and Sandy with 10. 25, give you 35. Harold, get it right. You'll be in the lead. New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. She said for sure it's... Card. I didn't see the card. Can I see the... Sorry. President's <laughs> Day, Harold. Couple number one, Jason and Gretchen with 15, 25 would give you 40. Jason? Oh, it's Christmas. It's Christmas. She said it is. It's Christmas. Yeah. You got it. Couple number two, Roy and Monica with 15, 25 would give you 40. Get it right. You're tied for the lead. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is absolutely right. You're tied for the lead. Couple number three, Dave and Raquel with 30, 25 would give you 55. Dave, get it right. You and your wife are going on a fabulous second honeymoon. I'd have to say Christmas. Christmas. Yes. She said Christmas. <laughs> and Dave and Raquel, you are newly one game. Great. Congratulations to you. Thanks to all of our couples and thanks to you at home. I'm Bob Eubanks. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.
TV show lets you run wild through a supermarket. Supermarket Sweep! What TV show lets you grab everything you can get your hands on? Supermarket Sweep! And what TV show hides $5,000 and then helps you find it? Supermarket Sweep! Now we've just hidden another $5,000, so come and get it! Who's got the Doritos? Okay, you're on! Who's got the Z paper towels? Okay, you're on! And who's got the Swiss Miss Coco Mix? Okay, and you're on! It's Supermarket Sweet! And here is our host, David Ruprecht! Thank you! Hello there! And hello to you, and welcome to Supermarket Sweep. Well, our contestants are ready over there, and to help start them off, I'm going to give each team a free one minute and 30 seconds to use on the big sweep. There it is. And right now, here's a chance to pick up an extra 10 seconds and a cash bonus. So whoever's going to play first, get your hands on your buzzers, and here we go. The clothes are really bright on the blank and the beautiful. Debbie. The bold and the beautiful. Yes, it is. <laughs> With a lot of authority, Debbie says. Okay, Michelle. Debbie got that right. Now let's see if you can go for the money by going out there and getting the package of bold with the supermarket sweep tag on it. Get it to me within 30 seconds. 20 seconds or less, it's worth $100. Are you ready, Michelle? Yes. Go! Go! Go, go, go! 